That car looks incredible, doesn't Amazing. it? And we'll let you know how Nicholas gets on. Good on you, Nicholas. Alexis is here with me now for the weekend weather. Now, tomorrow night, you were telling me, is going to be milder than it was today. Than it was today, And yes. I was frozen today. How crazy is that? It's going to be so mild over the weekend for the time of year. Wow. But we are looking at temperatures in double figures tomorrow night in some areas. <laughs> Let's take a look at the lovely pictures from today. It's very crisp this morning. Richard Murgatroyd photographed the sun rising through Daddle Door. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This was the scene in Kingley Vale this morning, captured by Nessa Baker. Thanks, Nessa. And Merriam Woodland sent us this shot of the sunshine today at Chichester Harbour. So we had glorious blue skies overhead, the odd, very isolated shower today, but most places stayed dry. This lovely picture of the reflections in Hampshire was photographed by one of our weather watchers earlier on today and another sunny scene blue skies in Washington and West Sussex photographed by Jan one of our weather watchers through the course of tomorrow as I said there will be a lot more cloud it's going to be a lot milder than today and there will be some outbreaks of rain not affecting everyone but most places will see some rain during the course of the day there could be the odd shower out there this evening for the first part of tonight then the winds will fall lighter the skies will clear and it will turn very chilly that means we could see some mist and fog patches as well as patchy frost with a low of minus two Celsius. So it will be a chilly start to the day tomorrow, but temperatures will recover very quickly. A bright and a sunny start in many locations, then clouding over through the morning with the arrival of the rain. And that rain could be heavy for a time during the course of tomorrow afternoon. There will be some drier interludes and temperatures tomorrow will be up into double figures. Highs of between nine and 11 Celsius. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, we are going to have south Southwesterly winds, southwesterly four to six. The sea state is moderate, occasionally slight. And we are looking at the possibility of rain and showers at times, maybe some patchy drizzle. So tomorrow night, that rain will stay with us through the early hours of Sunday morning, gradually easing. A fair amount of cloud is expected and very mild temperatures. Look at this, in, in double figures in some places, higher than today's temperatures, 8 to 10 degrees. So a very mild day is expected on Sunday. We'll have lots of cloud, some bright and sunny spells, maybe some patchy drizzle at times before this next weather feature, bringing strong winds to parts of northwest Scotland but for us in the south we'll start to see rain push in for some areas during the course of Monday still some uncertainty about that area of low pressure so as we look ahead to the weekend look at that 14 degrees on Sunday temperatures will recover as that cloud and rain moves in tomorrow and staying mild for the start of next week but unsettled to start the week turning more settled from midweek onwards Ed. Perfect weather for writing Christmas cards. Yes, exactly. I've been trying to put them off. That's <laughs> it from us this evening. Thanks for watching. We're back with the late news at 10.25. Join us then if you can. Have yourselves a lovely weekend, won't you? Bye-bye. Good night.